yes. I'm away for a two night solo, ca solo camp at uh, the Debra village. And uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, no place I'd rather be than the village on my birthday. So yeah, we'll uh, bring you back as we go. Still on our way. <laughs> Sliding everywhere. Yeah. Everything's white and frozen. Well, I'm totally alone now. So, uh, Gary away. Oh, is he gonna crash? No. <laughs> right, the ground is sludgy and it's iced. As you can see, the hair bales. So yeah, we're gonna take a nice slow walk out to the village. It's crunchy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can see the sparkle sparkles of the frost. Absolutely brilliant. That's my breath in the air. It is minus four degrees. I've just got to the village and the devastation is quite obvious. <laughs> yeah, that storm last week has ripped through this village. It's just a pile of sticks pretty much now. And uh, fire pits flooded and pretty much all the ground around the fire pit is like a little pond. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to use that. All ice too. Not good. Not good. Main walls down. All the seating areas down. Just completely destroyed. Rubbish bag's been chewed to bits by mice. I'll have to clean that up. That shelter has slipped, obviously, because the trees were moving. And my uh, support beam has popped out the side. The force has been that much. Not too happy, but. Uh, Wow, my little shelters are still standing and the main two-story one amazingly is still standing untouched but yet the wind took down the shelters that are smaller than it. Obviously weak, dead standing cross beams that I've used because that is pretty much the older side of the village. Well that, that and all the way around here. So. And that's just slipped because of my own negligence, that, I think. But yeah, gonna have to start cleaning up and uh, work out a fire that isn't uh, just a sheet of ice and water. I don't know. We will see. Right, I've basically stood on this pole here and put my shoulders underneath this bar and pushed it right up, had this post in my hand and I've just wedged that underneath there and I'm going to bind that to this whole tree and that'll be the wedge that this is going to slip on so that it will not slip again or pop out. I've done the same to this side, I already had one on that side but it was cut at an angle, another uh, obviously this one will hold it up better, these big beams are the same ones I used on the floor for the two story ones so they will hold a lot better. So that is one shelter sorted. God, I can't believe the other side. I don't know what I'm going to do about the fire. So I've started just to uh, pack my fire pit with thick logs. 
I think I'm just going to build basically like an upside down fire and but the upside down bit's going to be raised off so that's going to be like a floating fire it's Baltic my fingertips and no man when I get my gloves on aye some old difficulty getting uh, the fire lit on uh, water yeah there was some bad words <laughs> So fire's literally there and you can see the water is just there. But it's uh no it's good. It's it's I'm warming up finally. My hands are numb from pulling in frozen firewood. I've managed to get a couple of the walls back up, a little bit sorted out, some of the mess cleaned up. Uh yeah. It's not a big deal, it happens. You learn from your mistakes and uh, make it better. That's all the fun of uh, maintaining and keeping a village. And you know, debris villages aren't meant to last forever. They do show, show wear and tear if you don't maintain them. I wonder that where, it's like when you look at it, it's like where did the pine go that I put on there? I mean, where did it go? It's just the moss inside. The pine, it's always the pine. Just rub my pine. <laughs> I'm gonna i I'm gonna get my hammock set up. I'm gonna do it over here, I think. Now I've got this lean to sorted and strengthened. <sighs> so what I've done to make the bottom end of the camp accessible is I basically robbed Gary's bridge that he built was last time we were here. And I've just put it over the water here. So we still have access to this side of the fire. Pretty much the same as I've done to the base of the fire. Got Gary's chair out. It's uh, a bit frozen, I'm just defrosting it. I have this back shelter up now. Just put an easy raft system up and covered it with the three by three tarp that was on it before. As you can see, it's still, it's frozen solid. It's like cardboard trying to unravel it. I'm still not unpacked or even set up yet. I've just been playing around camp. Oh yes. Now that is a winter fire. Got my first zebra can on for my coffee. I'm gonna have a nice strong coffee because uh, keep me going a bit longer. Doing awesome with this shelter, half up. Well, almost up. Got the backing on it. So yeah, and it's uh, starting to defrost. <laughs> so yeah, still a lot of uh, debris lying around. I'm almost cleaned up in there too. Just got this wall to reinstall, which shouldn't take that long. So yeah, I am totally flown with this now. Got that wall back up, that wall back up. Not touched this entire side. Got this bottom corner back up. These two posts reinforced again. Uh, this wall's back up. So it's just basically the uh, eight meter gap there where the uh, TP and the two walls were. That's where the main damage is. Again, I've checked the structure of this uh, two-story one too. And uh, yeah, it hasn't moved one inch like it's awesome. So I think because the wind's obviously coming in from this direction, it's uh, just bombarded that side. So yeah, but again, it was all wood, so it needs redone. I don't know what I'm going to build there, there's a lot of wood there and, and uh, materials to do something nice so I might uh, have a think about that tonight or over my next coffee My bridge is also, I like, uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely weird like just squatting down next to your fire or on wood rafters with water underneath them It's quite special
Yeah, I'll give you an idea of how cold it is. Look at this bit of wet paracord. Oh yeah. Frozen solid. <laughs> Look at that, in the time I've been here, my sleeping bag started to frost. <laughs> I'm just going to set up my sleep system now. Hammock, I'm thinking. 12.49 of the p.m. and uh, yeah temperature has dropped a lot you can see the ground it's just frosty I've finally got my hammock and tarp up and everything uh, covered up and underneath my other DD tarp just uh, there hammocks here and uh, let me just find a zip I don't know where the zip is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Inside here, I am totally prepared for cold weather. I have my Arctic sleeping bag, my softies, and uh, softy balaclava thing. It's quite warm. And uh, my sleeping bag, my bivy bag, and then a foam roll mat. Oh yes, it's going to be warm in there. <laughs> I could put the wool blanket over the outside of my net just to shelter the frost if need be. Yeah, awesome. i am uh, got all this section tidied up and back to the way it was now. A little bit better actually. Yeah. Two story shelter, structurally sound. All that end sorted up right to there. That's my uh, charger. Just that side. It's uh, a bit collapsed. Well, completely flattened under. There's Gary's tarp. Basher there. It's still corded to the trees, just weighed right down. There's probably water on it and everything. That'll be uh, to get tomorrow. Maybe later on. So I've uh, cleaned up that back end that fell down a bit. And now I've just, uh, I'm just going to sit and chill by my fire and uh, get a couple of burgers on I think for uh, my supper it's now 3 20 a.m. in the morning <laughs> so I've been uh, at it for quite a while <sighs> getting tired now so burgers in bed I think burgers are on I'm gonna have some bacon too bacon burgers on cheese rolls and tomato sauce Oh yeah. Oh. The uh, bacon's a go also. Yes. What are talking about. Toasting off my cheese rolls now. Perfectly toasted. Awesome. 
I don't even need to say a word. That totally speaks for itself. <laughs> I just pulled in some firewood. <laughs> Frozen. Brilliant night. I've actually enjoyed uh, just coming here and building straight away and uh, resorting stuff. It's been quite a little mission. <clears throat> I'm. Uh, so yeah, I'm officially 32 now. Uh, new year. Feeling good. <laughs> so on a different note, the MTFU Bushcraft page, I will be uploading some videos there. Just uh, normal videos I wouldn't keep on this channel. Just because I want to keep this for campfires. Well, camp, camp and campfire cooking and all that. So, yeah, I wanted to do this uh, other section of videos. So, I'll be doing it on the MTFU page. So, yeah, I'll post a link for that video. Or those videos as I'm doing them on my Google Plus. So, you can check them out. I'll go to the page and subscribe to them so you can keep track of. But a good bunch of guys and uh, Ginger Bruce. He does a lot of uh, game prep and r random videos. Totally worth watching. So, yep, yeah, I'm uh, going to get some shut eye and we'll catch you all in the morning. I was just watching that last clip back. And just to confirm, this channel will stay the same. It will still get the uh, my weekly video. And, uh, yeah, that will not change at all. Plus some extras come uh, when the winter sets in properly, no doubt. So yeah, it's more just to uh, for a little change for me and uh, to continue my hobby of video making as well as bushcraft and camping and uh, campfire cookery and shelter building <laughs> and pretty much everything to do with outdoors. So yeah, it's just uh, yeah a bit of fun. So we'll catch you in the morning. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> I slept like a baby. Oh. Oh. oh, look at that. That's all the damage to uh, that side. It's just completely gone. <laughs> That's still good. It's still good. <sighs> Got my boots there. What's the frost has gone like? I've just heard a massive barrage of gunshots from over that side. <clears throat> I don't care what they do as long as they do not step inside. Because as soon as they step over that fence, their guns and things become my property. <laughs> so I will take your gun off you, sir. <laughs> I dare you to cross the fence.
Baltic. Uh. Keep my softy jacket on for now, just uh, keep myself warm until I've got my fire going underneath my smock. <laughs> you can see where the uh, water has absorbed into the fire. It's still there. Uh... Yeah. So the uh, fire pit was flooded last night. That's pretty much all the amount of rafters I had to put down over the uh, water. So I can still walk on it. It's good. Fire's going. Just uh, working out beamage and having a little look at this of what I built last night. I took all the moss off that TP that had fell last night, or a lot of it, and put it on this uh, small TP. So that's uh, pretty much almost mossed in there. So I'm just going to put a lean to right across here and uh, then from there to there. And that's just going to be, I'm going to build that strong. As you can see, I've got long support beams in at a good angle. So, hopefully it'll take the wind this time. Because it just cuts right across here, because there's obviously no trees. It hits this entire side of the village. It's pulled these long bits off here too, so, yeah. The uh, two-story frame. It's good, good condition. Pretty much as I left it, a little bit of moss blown off the very top, but you could expect that. I was using those ladders last night to, to sort that wall out there. The main beam came off the top of the teepee, so put that back on. It's Gary's bed, I rescued it from underneath them, underneath the wall. Uh, moss the top of that again. last night put this shelter back up to three by three last night and that framage for wall so yeah but my main priority is that there because you can see my fire it's taking the wind over there and there is still frost and snow on the ground over there too it's like snow just little patches that wind chill is really cold held up to. Chuffed I've got plenty of those uh, big beams I can put in. So have that full uh, lean to up now apart from this gap here just because I've been using this for firewood and uh, everything it's all right that it's actually doing the job it's taking the wind off my fire anyways Awesome, and it stopped a lot of the wind chill, which is epic. Still a lot of moss down there. Hey, we're rolling, but that tap just a half a wall for now. 
looking good. I am gonna get breakfast on the go. <laughs> I've uh, shifted over to full daughter just because uh, it's raining a little bit and it feels quite it's gonna be wet later on so and it saves the wind chill cutting through my clothes. Fire's a bit puny, I'll kinda let it go because I've been busy doing things. <laughs> Gonna have a long view of the uh, of the shallows from the top of the. Oh, what's that knife frame? Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> I just built that <laughs> just for the sheer fun of it. And if you want to see the step-by-step -step tutorial, MTFU Bushcraft. Check out on the step by step tutorial of an airframe. So, yeah, it, I just I just love this place and all the skill it brings you just by playing with stuff like this. It's bloody brilliant. There'll be a wind turbine there. There's another one. Wind turbine! I'll put Gary's bed in there to keep it nice and dry. Cause uh, that's a monster shot like that. Awesome. It's almost almost dry there. Right? So, uh, we're getting there. Breakfast is on. Bacon uh, cheese rolls, I think. Oh yes. Oh yes. Bacon is coming along nicely. I'm still amazed that uh, two story shallot survived. Considering it's taller than the thing that actually fell down. Cheese rolls are on. I do think cheese rolls are absolutely amazing. Rain's coming down now. Not heavy, but uh, spitting. No doubt it's going to get worse later on. So I'm uh, getting my fire a good, good hot base. So that if I do get a lot of rain, it's not going to flood too much. I think I've actually evaporated some of this water. But I know in my heart of hearts that it's actually the water table, you know what I mean? Because uh, if you just come over here, <laughs> uh, you can see how is it? Oh yeah the water table the water table uh is just level with the soil pretty much in some parts oh, I'm gonna fall over that so yeah 
I'm not going to evaporate the water table, not when it's raining. Best I can do is just to keep my fire above it, which I seem to be doing all right and doing right now. So the water has receded a bit from last night because it was uh, around here last night. Tea bag there. I don't even see that. <laughs> I need to get some logs on the go for this fire before it gets uh, dark later on because it's like middle of the day now and uh, it looks dingy real dingy so yeah and there's uh, rain on and off so I think it's time to invest in some loggage I've got a uh, macaroni cheese for uh, dinner and a nice sirloin steak I'm going to put that there on there in a second once it's heated up a little bit more and you can just see what I'm, what I'm standing in here it is just water <sighs> marshy We all love steak, apart from the vegetarians out there, of course. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's like pretty much uh, getting dark now. The old bare uh, light on, so we can all see. That's it ready. There we go. My bev de lunch. Sirloin steak and macaroni cheese. One of my favourites. One of my many favourites. <laughs> yeah. We have a strawberry trifle for dessert. <laughs> and it's actually freezing. So that's awesome. <laughs> That's why I like winter. You get to take uh, nice desserts out without worrying the they're gonna the heat's gonna ruin them. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this. Just got me a load of logs, built me like a sort of uh, crisscross beacon fire. See if we can get some decent heat and flames out of there, see if we can warm my back up. <laughs> this grid fire is fully ablaze now. Taller than the uh, airframe. My back's finally warm too. The heat off it is powerful. It's like a full body tan. <laughs> it's like a full body heat, and I'm just standing there, just rotate. Just rotate, rotate, rotate. <laughs> warm myself up. Rotate. <laughs> i tell you what I do find handy, even though it is quite childish. These little elastic things you get on uh, proper outdoors gloves, just to cook, clip them into your cufflets so you don't, uh, so you can take them off, dry your hands and your gloves at the same time. Look at that, amazing. And you don't lose them, because I'm bad for losing just one glove or like, uh, yeah, or setting them down. So, it's good. Both hands. <laughs> yeah, this grid fire is getting epic. Well, 
Well guys, another brilliant day and uh, yeah, I'm in my hammock, gonna call it a night and we'll catch y'all in the morning. Morning, slept real well, uh, raining all morning and uh, a lot of the flooding's back too. So yeah, the uh, rain last through the night has uh, just flooded this whole area again. After I spent ages drying it out. But it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm packing up now and, and heading home. Just gonna sort one last quick brew. And that is all my kit packed up guys. It's all my cooking stuff. And uh, pots and that. So yeah. If anyone wonders where that bed went, I burnt it last night. <laughs> yeah, I got lazy. <sighs> totally awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna head home now, and we'll uh, we'll catch y'all next week. <laughs>